Okay, even for Dr. Stone, that is kind of ridiculous. But hey, I hate reality, so in a way I wouldn't complain. But one wonders uh, what exactly it's going to be. Either way, it's the Dr. Stone chapter 2, no, no, 119, and I am the angry and offended this better viewer. They're about to revive Kazaki, but then. Uh, but then. Ashigiro again points out that there is a mission tissue that is strangely in the shape of poop. But then um, the one who finds the picture is none other than Taiju, who has actually taken such deep breaths that uh, he could actually successfully manage to find all the pieces. Okay, even for me, that is a kind of ridiculous. No one can hold their breath for that long. But uh, I guess it is to further show how inhuman uh, Taiju is. He's all inhuman, but uh, he is also completely different, different in all of that. So, um, so he's willing to take small pieces and find all the mother, 200 chips to 300 chips, doing all that. It's uh, bru all brute stamina, nothing more. And with that, they managed to fit uh, the uh, the scar, and Kasaki has been revived, but he has now a seaweed skirt after all. And Kasaki feels great because he's also feeling like his body is much better. Uh, Senku is saying that maybe um, petrification and and healing up um, cured him of his arthritis, so his skills has now powered up. So they begin by uh, repairing the lab, and Senku begins the the blueprint for what they need to do. First, they need to create a propeller. So they take something light as feathers and dip it into plastic. And then, uh, with final much just as my hand, they are trying to explain the verifying. Uh, but they also need a fidget spinner. But. Uh, um, a fidget spinner is a toy, so it's kind of difficult to, to make, but it's definitely needed. Um, but uh, Senku saying uh, the one who first invented that was Leonardo da Vinci, although uh, Ashigo again saying it's wrong. So they are using uh, the parts of the ship in order to create, uh, no, sorry, of the lab to take little fragments they don't need and toss them into a cylinder where they get jumbled and jagged around and slowly get shipped away and become round. With that they create small pachinko balls. Uh, and then um, they also invent another little ball. And not soon after, Taiju has managed to get all of the teams back together. Although it's not exactly known if it is all the team back together, especially with every one part. But what is most noteworthy is that Taiyu actually fished up another person. Another person who is missing a hand by you. A mysterious person that appears to be a man, but has a very long hair and a mysterious face. The petrified hair is a way of the face. Taiyu just picked it up because um, that was there. You know, I once asked myself, is it possible that uh, uh, Soyu's parents were underground in the water? But I do not think this is that person. Maybe this is someone else, but someone who is also more uh, uh, important to the story than we can care to realize. With that, um, well, with those words, Ryusu is saying that they are soon going to have all of them aboard. However, Senku is saying that uh, they cannot win against this petrification kingdom in strength. They need to do it with science. And things are starting to take a little turn for the worse as uh, Koako is confronted to the, by the this, this strongest uh, member. Well, not Kirisame, the other one. He may be a lazy and he may be a pervert, but seeing that he detected that Koaku was a fighter, he knows that Koaku is more than she lets on. So he confronts her and saying, demanding to know where the friends are. Which means that the Minister Ibarra is not fooled by what happened. She knows that there are intruders. I mean, he knows that there are intruders. 
The sad thing about this is that Koaku is not gonna win against this guy. It didn't. It took me a while to realize that, but Koaku has lately been the designated Wurf effect victim, and I hate that. But it's meant to show that Koaku is a strong girl, so every time she loses to someone, is to show just how much dangerous the other one is. And as again, she has lost to Sukasa, Hyoga, and Kisame. Oh, who are noted to be extreme monsters. So it um, only makes sense that she's gonna lose to this guy as well. And also to create the dread, because everything has been going the Kingdom of Science way right now. So the only way by having not that is have Kuaku getting captured and taken hostage. Of course, Kuaku is the kind of girl who will not rat out her friends even if anything else. She doesn't have a weapon, but she does have a whip uh, from decorated ramen race leg. But um, Senku is still uh, Sen even Senku knows that their hideout will be very soon discovered by the enemy. So they need to do steal the petrification ray and then overpower them with science. And uh, so they manage to create the drone. Unfortunately, though, it is not really finished yet because well it still needs some fine adjustments but yeah the story is now taking on the turn for the worst Koaku is confronted by a very strong person I mean I know Koaku she will not break no matter how much she is tortured but um, the secret is a little bit out there and Senku now will have to do the adjustments they have saved everyone on the ground. I don't know how, but <laughs> they did it anyway. <laughs> it's Tayu for you. Yes, his unlimited stamina to even hold his breath is ridiculous, but I guess it makes sense. It's him after all. But that mysterious statue underwater, that is definitely someone who will play a part. So what awaits us? Will you give me your faults if you have any?